Piermont Heritage Boating Club um, is essentially uh, a not-for-profit little club here on the harbour side. We have as our charter um, to encourage people who would not normally get on Sydney Harbour to get on Sydney Harbour. Um, we're running um, Work for the Doll programs, which we've continuously run now for three years, where people who are um, on Centrelink payments. They have a requirement to work a number of hours every week and what we've been doing here in the club for a number of years now is providing an opportunity for people uh, who are interested to come down here and get their hours working down here, restoring boats, uh, learning Sydney Harbour heritage, um, getting an opportunity to get out on the water, whereas we've got a lot of enthusiastic people who come here and really enjoy the, enjoy the program and when they leave they've learnt a lot. They've learnt skills, we give them skills on hand tools here, we give them skills on power tools, we give them basic knowledge of how boats are built and um, how to use them on the water. Yeah, we've got two, we've got two classic uh, Sydney Harbour small boats there. Uh, the first one is Sweet 16. She's a 16-foot skiff from the mid-1950s. Uh, when, when she was designed and built, uh, she was a very radical boat for her day. Uh, double diagonal Australian red cedar um, laminated hull. The second boat is um, an absolute mainstay of uh, Sydney Harbour racing. It's a Northbridge Senior, um, designed in the 1960s by a group of uh, guys sitting around a table at the Northbridge Sailing Club. Um, so they wanted to design a boat that had all of the fun and excitement of those boats but didn't need a trapeze or a spinnaker. The um, oldest boat in our fleet is behind us there, which is a, um, a flood boat. That was built by the Australian Royal Navy. They're beautifully built boats. Um, They've got uh, cowrie below the waterline, New Zealand cowrie below the waterline, Australian red cedar above the waterline. They were built very light. Um, they row like a dream. <laughs> and um, we're looking forward to getting onto a major restoration project with this one and get it back out there rowing. We are now under Anzac Bridge in, in Piermont in Sydney. So this is a, a working part of the harbour. You have the tugboats, you have the charter boats, you have the super yachts, you have the international yachting coming from all over the world. This is the safe anchor for international yachting just near the fish markets in Piermont. And we are, the Piermont Club is standing under the Anzac Bridge. 15 vessels in different states of being repaired, from very small six-foot vessels, timber, uh, to 80 feet vessels, so from two metres to 23 metres. Uh, all different kinds, sailing, rowing, uh, and so people are able to come down, be a part of the restoration, also be a part of using the vessels, training to learn to use it, and being part of the culture of the harbour, taking those vessels to the rest of the harbour uh, in regattas, in racing, or just in pleasure, picnic on the harbour. And uh, so that's, yeah, that's what it's about in the middle of the city, so people can have that facilities. Uh -huh. Pirates of Plastic, yes, yes, they are a very good uh, team. So they have their different abilities, and they come here to learn the boat. But the best thing to do is they say, what's our purpose? And so we would go and pick the plastic from the harbour. Wow. So we have our stick. There's the huge problem in the world of plastic in the water. And one of the 10 best things that anybody can do is take the plastic from the water. So we go in the, traveling around the harbour and we pick up all the plastic. And uh, those people have been doing it for uh, two years now. And slowly they become proficient on the boat. They learn the rowing. They learn the fenders on the side, they learn the ropes, the knots. So slowly, slowly they build their skill, but also they do something good for the environment at the same time. For the environment, and we, and we use the longboats here. These are copy of 17th century 
ship's work boat. And uh, so we use this for training for then the big 23 metre Viking ship. Um, this boat was um, donated to the club six and a half, seven years ago. And um, since we've had the ship, we've slowly been trying to restore it with the limited funds that the club has. This built was, boat was built in the 80s. Yep. The, the original that this is a replica of was built in 800 AD. And it was found in a burial mound over in Norway. Yeah, we we're going to restore the Viking ship yep. and to start off uh, we we're going to go to the structural members with mainly the frames cut and twist as you're cutting and that turned out actually to be faster than than using electric planes and, and things like that because wow. it takes yeah the whole chunk off at once and it's uh, yeah quite it's a lot more fun than than uh, uh, sawdust and chips so that's how we ended up doing it the, yeah, the traditional way we, yeah, we turned out to be the fast way it's nice when, when that happens. And we are fitting um, new frames into the ship, so we're, we're sort of going through a process. We're removing every second one and replacing it, yep. and then we'll come back later and remove the ones that we didn't remove when the new ones are in, and we'll take them out and then replace them. Quite a historic sort of a vessel, even though it is a replica. There's only three that I know of in the in the world that have been um, built on the same lines of that particular ship. So she's quite a quite an interesting vessel as far as that goes has been only, only one of three others that are still sailing um, which are in Norway so she's probably the only Viking ship of this size in the southern hemisphere that I know of. So. We hope to have a permanent home here uh, in the building behind. Number one Bank Street. At the moment we're not there, but hopefully we will go there. We have a grant to, to make the building good and uh, hopefully we'll be in there in the next few months. So we actually have a home rather than just working from containers and things like that. Here we have the philosophy, we use the boat. So we use the boat for whatever purpose, training, education, environment, and therefore if you use the boat then you learn how to maintain the vessels and learn the skill, uh, working in a team, uh, sailing in the team, and working for the, uh, for the environment too, and working for the community, making a community space. That's what we're, that's what we're about. Yeah.